You know what I find absolutely fucking disgusting? It's the fact that a company like Warner Brothers, I believe since 2017 or so, has been pissing me off more and more and more as the years gone on. They haven't gotten better. They've gotten worse. I was actually surprised when Black Adam was at least competent. So there's some problems with it, but it was still competent storytelling. Over the years. So, like, let me just... Since they want to go back into this, into this fucker's, like, dirty, past secret... What's not even those secret bullshit? Let me, let me tell you something that WB has done, Warner Brothers has done, in the, in the past five, six years. Remember a movie called Crazy Rich Asians? Great movie, right? Put the Asians in the, in the great spotlight. Well, they were going to do a sequel for it. Unfortunately, Warner Brothers decided to not have the head writer be paid as much as the male writer. The male writer at the time was inexperienced. But Warner Brothers for the sequel wanted to pay him more than the head writer of female. And it was so bad that, they just, that the, the, that guy who had no experience that they were paying more offered up his salary to the more experienced writer because it was obviously the right thing to do. WB has not since made a sequel to that movie since 2017. I guess they couldn't get on the same page. And then the years since that point, I believe since that point, Warner Brothers has shoved a gay agenda in almost every single property they could have. I was that's why I was surprised that Black Adam didn't have that nonsense in there. There was no like you know long looking from people or whatever or you know pride flag somewhere in there. No, it was just a regular movie with regular superheroes doing regular superhero shit. I'm like, okay, thank you. But they've had Doom Patrol, Swamp Thing. Uh, of course, Velma, every fucking project, uh, Legend of Tomorrow, every fucking thing they could there. They have some sort of gay agenda in it some way, somehow. If the characters that were straight the whole time, they're going to just new characters in the show that are that are gay. Like like uh, uh, Superman and Lois. Peacemaker had a lesbian character in the first couple minutes. Of the, of the, I'm like, come on, bro. Every single one has to have a gay character in there, some way, somehow. So they, that, that's forcing an agenda in there. I, I guess that's why, like, no Batman properties has been on, like, besides Harley Quinn, obviously, and they, they got a gay agenda in that one as well. No Batman regular properties have, has been in there because they can't really think of a way to shoehorn a gay character in a Batman show on HBO Max. So then we have this. They wouldn't even allow them to do a, a proper Jay Briscoe tribute on their show. It was a miracle he did his name mentioned on the fucking show because WB has blocked the Briscoes from being WB because of Jay Briscoe's one comment back in 2010 or so that a preference of who his child hangs out with. Before the movement was even started where, you can't, where you're not allowed to say that, he said something like that and that was good enough for Warner Brothers to say, you know what? Blackballed that motherfucker forever. Because he didn't know what was coming in the future. And even if that's the case there, it's his preference. It's his preference to, for him to say who and who we can hang, well, hang out with. It, it was, I don't know if it's weird or not weird, not my place to say. But he will say that shit, they're fine. If you want to hang out with black kids, fine. White people, whatever. That's his preference. Like it's not gonna it's not gonna stop you from making money or stop you from like you know doing this or that or that. It's his preference at the at the time. He even apologized since then, but that wasn't good enough for WB. We're gonna cancel this motherfucker even when he's dead. I couldn't I couldn't believe this shit. It's one thing to like to not have multiple tribute shows for Jay Briscoe because one is enough or whatever, but they wouldn't even allow a proper single tribute on their show because of a tweet he made over a decade ago. Are you fucking serious? The same exact company that allowed, I don't know her fucking name, I'm trying to remember her fucking name. The creator of Velma, the one who voices Velma, the one who looks like Velma, yada, yada, you know what I'm talking about. 
she inserts herself into every single project that she has. That's not a crime, but what is a crime, social media wise, is forcing yourself on your co-stars. She admitted to doing that on Conan O'Brien, and she ordered her other staff members to not say anything or you're fired. So she knew she fucked up. She silenced the crew from telling anybody, and that she's stupid enough to go on national TV and say that she did that shit. And WB defends that. So they defend a groper. And they defend a person who threatens legal action to, to, to keep things quiet. But a guy can't make a tweet about who his son can't hang, can't hang out with. Are you fucking kidding me? That's how cruel the world is when it comes to tweets and quote-unquote freedom. You can't say shit even though before she even started. I'm like, oh my fucking God. Like, what if the guy, what, what if someone said dude in a tweet there, and the president of the company doesn't like the word dude because it's 90s or whatever. It's so fucking stupid and ass backwards. And I personally do not support WB in any way. I didn't pay to see Black Adam. I don't pay to watch Doom Patrol or whatever. I don't pay to watch any of that shit. The, 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 so, the company's so fucking disgusting. It, it just... It amazes me that it's still around. I know it's losing money, whatever, but I can't believe they're forcing the agenda in there so harshly. There was a media call I saw yesterday about, there was, I think it was a woman, about, about, about 10 people in that Zoom call. There was one, obviously gay, because of the way that he speaks, gay guy in that thing with all those people in there, and he was saying that they want to force a, a gay agenda in everything, whether or not the story is good or not. Everybody else in that Zoom call did not say anything. They did not nod up and down, yes, okay. And they stood there in dumb silence. So that guy who said that thing either must be a friend of an exec or one of the execs in power. I couldn't believe like, we're going to force a gay agenda in there, whether it's good for the story or not. That same company that blocks the Briscoes from from being in AEW, even though AEW signed them, they weren't allowed to be on their regular Dynamite show. Because Ring of Honor is like a pay-per-view thing, that's okay. They can't, they can't control that one because WB owns TNT and TBS there. They don't want everything to do with that one because the tweet might come up there and it could call, cause all kind of hell. Kiss my ass.